Everybody and welcome to another episode of Mad as a Goat. I may be talking a little bit louder than usual today. My ears are still ringing because I went and saw Cannibal last night and I realized something. Something that, you know, kind of bums me out because it, it shows me that I've wasted a lot of time, right? Death metal fans, you'd expect to be violent assholes pushing you out of the way to see the gig, right? No. They're probably the nicest crowd I've been around. I've been to Blues Fest, I saw Ace of Rock, I saw Jethro Tull, I saw Les Claypool, I went to Soundwave last year, and all those gigs have one thing in common. The crowds are fucking assholes. They'll push you out of the way, they'll shove you around, and shit like that. Now, Cannibal, a gig you would, you'd expect to be shoved around and punched in the face and all this, no. They're the fucking nicest crowds in the world. And I figured it out. You know why they're so nice? Because they actually like the music. Yeah. You didn't have just like thousands of people just... Or like fucking windmilling on all that. There was hordes of people just standing there in awe. Like, wow, we're watching Cannibal Corpse. And oh, I respect that more than anything in the world. Because like at Ace of Rock, most of the crowd... I'm gonna say this, apart from me and Fat Man, did not get the music, not even a fucking little bit. They were too busy going like this, trying to be fucking gangster and all this, instead of listening to the actual fucking songs. For instance, the, the, most of the crowd was going like this during No Regrets. If you don't know No Regrets, it's a song about a lady who lives her life to the fullest and dies happy. Yeah, not really an uplifting story from the ghetto. You're not meant to be going like this, you're meant to stand there and go, yeah. I, I hope I can live my life like that. But no, 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 no. We're too busy being pretentious and pretending we like music to actually listen to what's going on. But Cannibal, holy shit. I, I'm so impressed by their fans, seriously. Firstly, they're nice people. When I went into the pit, I got punched in the face and I got pushed over to the side and I was about to hit the ground. And a bunch of random metalheads never met me, don't know me, nah. They pick me up and they're like, dude, come on, careful, mate. And they were nice about it. They didn't make fun of me or anything like that. And another thing, when I accidentally got in people's way, if you do that at a hip hop concert, you'll get a tap on the shoulder, get the fuck out of the way. And some wannabe West Sider will get in your face. At a Cannibal Corpse gig, they'll do something comical. I accidentally got in this guy's way while he was trying to watch um, the third supporting act. And instead of being a dick about it, he just put his head on my shoulder and just started head banging over my shoulder. Thanks. I, I can take that. I'm like, oh yeah, sorry dude, and I just step to the side and let him come through. So, I just thought I'd make a video to basically tell the people, if you want to go to a good concert, have a good time, hear some great music, and be around good people, go to a death metal concert. Do not go to a hip-hop concert. The last thing you should ever do if you're looking for a good time is go to a hip-hop concert. Unless you're a pretentious cunt who thinks they know everything about everything, you're going to get annoyed at a hip-hop concert. But a death metal concert, you'll feel like you belong there. This is where you are meant to be. And Cannibal, they killed it. From first song to the very last, absolutely fucking owned it. And it wasn't even the best sound or the best venue, but they still made the best of it. I'm not a huge Cannibal Corpse fan. I really like their music, but I'm not hugely into them. But I will tell you, I was banging my head from the first song all the way to the fucking end. I couldn't help myself. It was fucking amazing. It gives me a newfound respect for this genre that they call metal. Because... Like I said, the fans are about the music, okay? There was full-on death metal fans who didn't want to be right up the front so they could look at Corpse Grinder. They were happy to be down near the soundboard. My friend Adrizzle, he's a huge Cannibal Corpse fan. Probably, like, one of the biggest Cannibal Corpse fans. He's been talking about him for years, right? And talking about going to the concert for months. He stood near the soundboard. He didn't want to get all the way up near the front. He was smart. He stood near the soundboard. He got to see the band and he got the best sound experience. So I just thought I'd like to put that out there. I think everyone should know that seriously, don't be scared of the death metal concerts. You can stay out of the pit and enjoy it. You don't have to go in the pit. 
It's not like a hip hop or jazz gig where the pit just gets bigger and bigger and everyone's like, oh, you should be a part of it. If you're not dancing, you don't like the music. Oh, I'm sorry, I was too busy actually listening to the music, you fucking pretentious twat. Anyway, I better stop this. I've been listening to Cannibal too much and I'm getting all aggressive and angry. I'm just gonna end this before I do the whole outro thing. I wanna show you my tour shirt. Now, I bought two of them, one for my friend Adrian, you know, cause he didn't have money at the time. So I thought I'd, you know, help him out cause he's a big fan. So I got the censored version, but it's still pretty awesome. I'm, I, I can't say that I'm bummed with this. And I like this thing on the back. I'm just, oh man, I'm so psyched at how good it was. I was expecting a bunch of pretentious metalhead dicks, and I am happily proven wrong. It was amazing. The greatest concert I've ever been to, thanks to Cannibal Corpse and the supporting acts, which I'll probably never listen to again. But still, I thought I'd just put that out there. Anyway, this has been Mad as a Go. I'll see y'all on the potato side.